Okay, so I am showing you our greenhouse with our aquaponic system set up in it. And it's a fairly new system. It's only been going with the water in since about April. And we've had our problems that we've had to work out like everybody. Um, so far, we're pretty happy with it. We have about 80 cubic feet of grow space. Uh, these beds are both 10 feet long by two feet wide by a foot deep, and there's four of them. Um, we use vacuum technology, meaning uh, we don't use bell siphons, but we use U siphons, which runs on the same principle, but for us, it was a little bit easier to figure out. So in our beds, we just have a hole and a bulkhead in the bottom that connects to the pipes underneath and goes in a U fashion. And when the water level gets up to here and pushes out the air, it dumps by itself, which is what this one right here is doing. And we're really happy with that. We've had no problems. Um, the drains, we've timed them to where it takes about 45 minutes to fill up and then about 15 minutes to drain. And our top tank runs on the same kind of system where it's just a U siphon down in the top tank, gravity flow out to our grow beds. So the only electricity we have is a very small pump that takes the water from the bottom tank up to the top tank. And we have fail safes built in. We have an overflow here. And if the water goes over the tops of these downspouts, then the beds won't drain anymore. So it shuts itself off and we haven't had any issues. It's been running nonstop for about three months. Um, that part of it has been fairly easy. So our issue now is we use growstone, which is a very light recycled glass product that has a lot of pores on the outside to um, promote bacteria growth. Well, the problem with that, and I thought I did my homework, is that I guess in the process of making this recycled glass, they use some kind of a calcium carbonate in the processing, which you're supposed to rinse off, which I did. Uh, we rinsed, we soaked, but apparently we didn't do it enough because our issue with pH has been really difficult. And I was hoping that the system would level out. It didn't, so I had to resort to using phosphoric acid pH down to lower the pH. Um, before we did that, plants weren't happy, fish were dying. Now that we're doing that, everybody's happy. I've got new growth, I've got flowers. Um, the new growth you can see is dark green, whereas the previous was real light and anemic. Even the new growth on the celery, nice and dark. So I don't mind artificially lowering that. I'm just hoping that sooner or later it does level out. Um, so instead of going and buying more expensive catfish like I did the first time, stupidly, I went and bought 50 feet of goldfish for $5, so if they die, they die, and I'm not out a whole lot. Plus, goldfish are prolific poopers, so they've jump-started the system quite well. So now my issue, <laughs> I may have kicked myself, is now my nitrites, or my, I'm sorry, my nitrates are too high. 
So we keep a running tally of what our pH is on the date and the time when I add the pH down, what our ammonia is, what our nitrites and what our nitrates are. So now my nitrates are running about 100. My ammonia is up just a little bit, but nothing horrible. So I actually have a largemouth bass in the top tank and I fed a few goldfish to him thinking I could eliminate <laughs> some of my nitrates. Um, I planted a few more plants. Um, so yeah, at this point now I'm kind of screwed with my nitrate level. So there's my little bass and he's very happy to eat any goldfish I give him. So if anybody has any suggestions, um, that would be great. Or if I'm just being impatient, then that's fine too. Let me know. Thank you very much.